Hi guys. Okay, you know what? Actually, this is take two. I'm hoping it's going to work. Now, I have a, um, we have company. Company, that means we have an extra dog. Instead of two, we have three. So, we'll see. But I wanted to read The Teeny Tiny Teacher today. The author is uh, Stephanie Kalmanson. And this is a really fun book because you can uh, try things like this at home. Um, you'll see after we're finished, I want you guys to really pay attention to the setting. You know that setting word. It is uh, where the story take, takes place, okay? So I want you to pay attention to the setting in the story. And at the end of the story, if I make it through this time, <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll have a chit chat. Really short. This is called The Teeny Tiny Teacher. Look at this. They used a chess part of the chess set. Very cute. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny teacher who taught in a teeny tiny school in a teeny tiny town. Um, one teeny tiny morning, when talking to her teeny tiny, when taking her teeny tiny attendance and singing the teeny tiny morning song, See, this is why I have to have more than one take on a story. I screw it up. Sorry, where am I now? The teeny tiny teacher said, Who would like to take a teeny tiny walk? Me, cried all the teeny tiny students in their teeny tiny voices. The teeny tiny students put on their teeny tiny coats and their teeny tiny hats and they made two teeny tiny lines holding teeny tiny hands as they walked to the teeny tiny park. At the teeny tiny park, they found many teeny tiny things, teeny tiny leaves, teeny tiny sticks, teeny tiny rocks, teeny tiny feathers, and the teeny tiny teacher found a teeny tiny bone. I will save this teeny tiny bone for our teeny tiny science lesson, said the teeny tiny teacher to her teeny tiny self, and she put the teeny tiny bone into her teeny tiny pocket. When the teeny tiny class got back to their teeny tiny room, they hung their teeny tiny coats and their teeny tiny hats in their teeny tiny closet. The teeny tiny teacher forgot all about the teeny tiny bone in her teeny tiny pocket. Who is ready for a teeny tiny snack? asked the teeny tiny teacher. We are, said all the teeny tiny students. While the teeny tiny teacher was filling the teeny tiny cups with juice, the teeny tiny voice whispered, Give me my bone. The teeny tiny teacher smiled, thinking that a teeny tiny student was playing a teeny tiny trick on her. Someone is being a teeny tiny bit silly, said the teeny tiny teacher. And then she handed out the teeny tiny cups of juice and passed around the teeny tiny cookies. The teeny tiny students were enjoying their teeny tiny snack when the teeny tiny voice said a teeny tiny bit louder. Give me my bone. The teeny tiny students were a teeny tiny bit frightened and they spilled their teeny tiny cups of juice and dropped their teeny tiny cookies all over the teeny tiny floor. Someone is being more than a teeny tiny bit silly now, said the teeny tiny teacher with her teeny tiny hands on her teeny tiny hips. Teeny tiny students who have something to say must raise their teeny tiny hands. teeny tiny student raised her teeny tiny hand and said, the teeny tiny voice came from our teeny tiny closet. Teeny tiny closets don't talk, said the teeny tiny teacher. And then she helped her teeny tiny students to clean up the teeny tiny room. When the teeny tiny room was a teeny tiny bit tidy, the teeny tiny teacher said, who would like to help me write a teeny tiny story about our teeny tiny walk? Me, said all the teeny tiny students. They were taking turns telling the teacher, the teeny tiny teacher, what to write when the teeny tiny closet started to shake and rattle and the teeny tiny voice called out a teeny tiny bit louder, give me my bone. Now the teeny tiny students and the teeny tiny teacher were a teeny tiny bit frightened and they hid under their teeny tiny desks. They had been hiding just a teeny tiny time when the teeny tiny voice called out a teeny tiny bit louder than before. 
Give me my bone. This made the teeny tiny teacher and her teeny tiny students a teeny tiny more bit frightened. So they hid a teeny tiny further under their teeny tiny desks and they were shivering and shaking a teeny tiny voice when a teeny tiny, a teeny tiny bit, when a teeny tiny voice called out again even louder. Help me guys. Give me my bone. The teeny tiny t teacher was not about to let a teeny tiny voice frighten her teeny tiny students another teeny tiny minute. So she popped up from behind her teeny tiny desk and shouted in her loudest teeny tiny voice, Take it! After that, the teeny tiny teacher and her teeny tiny students never heard the teeny tiny voice again. And that is the teeny tiny end. Okay, so before I even close the book, you guys, I want you to pay attention to how they made this school. Remember, it's teeny tiny. And so they made the school with what? What do you see, you guys? Mm-hmm, yep. You see Scrabble letters for the word the end. Look at this. Right here in front of the door is a doormat that actually is an, right, an eraser. And how about this? What uh, is holding up the schoolhouse? Pencils. Good, you guys. And this is a notebook for the roof. Good job, guys. And look at this. This is their emblem. Now, we have an emblem, too, but this would work for any little uh, village you're going to make. And this is actually a, right, a penny. Okay, so this is something that might be a teeny tiny bit fun for you to do today in your teeny tiny time of teeny tiny boredom. Make a teeny tiny little table. Okay, and if you guys make one, you could take a picture, take a teeny tiny picture, and send it to me. Okay, maybe you don't know how. That would be me. I don't know how. <laughs> I tried to send a picture of my teeny tiny tortoise and it didn't work. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you could send it to your teacher and tell her that you made something teeny tiny that goes along with our story today, which is The Teeny Tiny Teacher by Stephanie Calvinson. Okay, guys, have a great day. I'll see everybody next week.